Backing up your NAS to a public cloud gives you added protection against data loss. In this video, we'll be going over why you would back your data up to a cloud, what public cloud services we support for backups, and how to make backups from your NAS to your cloud. When you combine your QNAP NAS with a public cloud, you get both data safety and easy, fast access. For this tutorial, we'll be using Amazon S3. And Amazon S3 uses buckets to store data, so we're going to create a bucket and I'm just going to name this bucket QNAP College Demo. And then here I'll click Next, and Next again, and Next again, and then Create Bucket. Now that I've created the bucket, I'm going to need to get a key file, because I'm going to need a key file to access the cloud when I'm making the backup from my NAS. So I'm going to go down and click IAM, and then here I'll click Delete Your Root Access Keys, Manage Security Credentials, continue to security credentials, access keys, and now I can create a new access key and download the key file. And you'll see the key file is an Excel file. It's root key17.csv. And now I'm going back to QTS. And we make our backups with hybrid backup sync. So I'm gonna click on there. And under overview, I'm going to click backup. And under backup, I'm gonna click cloud backup. And then here on the left side, you'll see these are the folders that we can choose here to uh, back up. And on the right, I can put in my destination. So if you haven't done this before, you're gonna do add cloud backup storage. And we can see the different cloud services we offer. So there's Azure Storage, WebDAV, OpenStack Swift, Amazon Glacier, Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, and HKBN Cloud Storage. And of course, we're using S3, so I'll just select Amazon S3 and click Next. Here I'll just give the storage name, AWS Backup. And then you're gonna click Settings. Here we can put in the display name, so the next time we wanna make a backup here, we don't have to go through filling this all out, I can just select the display name on the right side. And the access key, so here I'm just gonna go back to that Excel file I downloaded, and I'm gonna copy and paste and there's both a key and a secret key on the same document. So I've got the key. And the secret key. All right, and then just click OK. Now I'll select the bucket. We can see QNAP College Demo, the one I created back in Amazon S3. And I'm just gonna apply. And now I'm gonna create a folder for the backup. So I'll just click, uh, type in the folder name for that. I'll put in QNAP College. And to schedule, you just click on the calendar icon. And here you can make your schedules, or you can choose to just back up one time. You can also, choose to have a backup happen immediately after applying. And I've got my schedule now all set up, but I'm also gonna just back up now. So you can just click back up now to start the backup. All right, and it's finished. So now let's just go back to Amazon S3 and you can see QNAP College Demo Bucket, and then there's the folder I created, and Test Folder, that's the folder I backed up. All right, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS. Thanks for watching.